All right, weather's average, so we're gonna get a few jobs done. Today, I'm just gonna run you guys through how I do a bit of rust prevention on, a, on boat trailers. What you're gonna need is some lanolin. Then you're gonna need 10 meters or so of irrigation pipe, two end plugs, um, one T, two packs of those. I've already used one pack, you get 10 in a pack, and uh, one hose plug in for the hose attachment. All right, so first job you want to do is thread your irrigation piping up the length of the trailer on the inside of the tube and get it to poke out the other side. Um, you want to do this first before you put any, any fittings on it because that will make it harder to push it through the tubing. So now you've got the hose going all the way through. We'll plug off this end and tie some string around it so then we can pull it out from that end and the string will still be hanging out here like that so we can pull it back through the tubing once all the fittings are on it. Okay, now we've pulled this end of the tube out from the top end of the trailer with the string attached and the tail end of the string down that end. Now we're just going to go through and about every foot of tubing we're going to put in one of our 360 degree um, spray nozzles into the tubing. And then you'll end up with something like this. We've got our two separate hoses teeing up and then a hose fitting. So we're going to run these hoses, pull these hoses back through the tube now, the strings, and then leave this hose fitting out the top here. And the plugs in, turn it on, and all these sprayers spray in a 360 degree motion. I'm going to give it a quick test now before I chuck it back in the tube. Without getting my phone wet, that's what we're going to get throughout the trailer all these at each part of the tube and they'll just saturate the inside wash any salt out now we're going to go through all the in inside of the tubing and spray it So you can actually see when I'm spraying it in this hole, it's coming down to these and the other hole, which means you're getting some pretty good coverage. This stuff is awesome. Um, it's got a high pressure propellant and a uh, sprays for about two meters and absolutely saturates everything it comes into contact with. It does run out pretty quick, um, but I just did the whole inside of the tubes with that. Now we're going to feed these back through by pulling the string on the other side of the tubes. Right, so now uh, two uh, irrigation pipes are teed off. Then we just get another short hose with a garden hose fitting. Slot that on and secure it up here somewhere with some cable ties. Lock off all these with cable ties and you're good to go. Sweet, so that's that job done. Cost about 40 bucks to do and uh, every six months or whenever I service the boat, I'll get another can of that lanolin and cut the inside of the rails again. Obviously, it's not going to completely prevent um, any corrosion happening down the line, but it just slows it down. You can't beat Mother Nature, salt's always going to win. Um, but for the price you pay to do that and for the convenience of it all, definitely worth doing and uh, it will hopefully, in the long run, give you some protection against the salt water. I do this in every single one of my trailers I get. Um, my last trailer was 15 years old and still going strong. Um, so it obviously works, but as I say, try it out for yourself. It's easy enough to do and it only costs you 40 bucks, so why not? Catch you later, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.